Hi you guys, it's Sina and I'm Zila Nanchang and today I will show you how to uh, get on the train in China, how to buy tickets and how to travel to other cities. Let's watch! First of all, you need to open any browser you like. I really like to use Google Chrome because it has a special application that allows you to translate the whole page into any language without even using VPN. And it's great. So first of all, we need to go to the official website of Chinese Railway Station. And it's very easy. It's 12306.cn. CN China. Good. So we can see there is the bar that asks asks us if you would like to translate the whole page, you can do it or you can just do the right click with the mouse and choose translate to English. So as we'd like to buy tickets, first of all we need to register um, our account and we click over here for online ticket user registration. Uh, be aware that if you use Mac and probably it would say that the connection is not safe, blah blah blah. So at the bottom of the page, uh, there would be everything should would everything here would be gray, just text that it's not safe. At the bottom, you'll see like kind of red or blue link show more details. You just click there and add a tick that you'd like to go and proceed anyway. Here we go on the page and we have a lot of information like username, uh, password, confirm password, name, phone number and so on. So let's try. Okay, password, confirm password, here is written name. Name should be as it's written in your password, so if it's written family name first, do it first. Written first name first, do it like that. Okay, next one is type of the password, a document, so it's for Chinese, uh, for Chinese people, Hong Kong, Macau, it's Taiwan and this is passport for foreigners. Okay, here we go. So here we need to type the number of your passport. Of course, I'll type fictional number, which would just have the exact amount of numbers that it should be in my passport. So sex, male, female. I'm female, obviously, and country. So you can choose any country. Let's see where is Russia and P Russia. Okay, here is date of birth. How to get it? Okay, let's see and go for eighth month. Yes. So here we go, the month, uh, uh, the, the year. Here is the month. If you don't know Chinese, you can translate into English. Oops, it does not translate that. Okay, uh, show original. So this is the year and here on the left we have month. So if you are not sure how to, what is this, you can try to use your pleco or any other dictionary to translate. So I just know that this is Bayu means eight month, it's just number eight. If you don't know how to choose, you just need to remember that one stroke like this means one. So you can just go to the month with one and after you click as many times like as the number of the month is so August is eighth month so one two three four five six seven eight so this is eighth month August good and you choose the date of birth okay so here I can type an email address it's not mandatory if you type it you'll get some extra confirmations of uh, your purchases, 
If you don't want, it's okay. So here we go. We need to type the passport on the passport phone number and honestly I don't know if you're allowed to type here not Chinese number probably not because uh, number should begin with one three or something with one so it's Chinese so here we go with my phone number and the last one to ask uh, what type of passenger are you adult uh, child student or you the person with special needs so I'm just regular adult and you need to click here to confirm that you accept all terms and conditions blah 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 okay here we go proceed and right now we need to send a text message to confirm that we are not uh, fake people so we need to open a phone just go to your messages and you need to send a message uh, 999 to the number 12306. So on my phone I type 12306, it's receiver, and the message should contain only three numbers, 999, and I send a message. Okay, I got verification code and I type it here. Right after the registration, you would be transferred to the next page, login page. But we'll talk about this next time. I really hope that this video was useful for you and you enjoyed watching it. See you next time. Bye bye.